watch his fucking language on the live stream. Scraggs, what were you thinking? You're right, I guess he's not coming after all. <sighs> oh, there you are, Gwen. Lisa, this is not a good time. Totally, you look really stressed. Your children were worried about you, so I told them I'd check in. What were you doing with my kids? Oh, I was just dropping off some leftovers. I knew they didn't have anyone to cook for them on Christmas Eve, and it just broke my heart. <laughs> I left them a 20 for takeout. We had a wonderful time. We hung stockings. We wrote letters to Santa. Oh, your little one said all he wanted for Christmas was his mommy. <laughs> anyway, the chat and the stream got a little bit morbid, so your kids wanted to donate some of their own gifts to try to uh, ignite some life into this thing. It's so sweet, but actually, the stream has over 600 concurrent views, so we're good. Are you? I'm sure you could get more donations if you had more class. In the performances, Kumen. <laughs> well, that is very cute, but this event is not for amateur performers. Oh, news to me. Come, Kumen. Lisa, Lisa. I'll take that. I'll some play like man enough. <laughs> no means no, kid. <laughs> Everything is. Hey, hey, don't let her get to you. You want some North Pole powder? It's cocaine. With a little bit of Swiss Miss in it. Keep it together, Esther. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. I mean, Looks like I'm obviously winning this whole thing with no obvious competitor in sight, so, um, yeah, let's just call it. No! We have to do the performance. If it doesn't go forward, then this entire fucking holiday season will have been a huge waste. And between you and me, I think Charity might pull the plug and cancel the rest of the show. Attention, everyone! I have to pull the plug and cancel the rest of the show. Yes! It is the only responsible course of action. You we can't do this. I don't see why we need to stop the show. I, I duct taped the breaker box closed so no one can cut the power again. <laughs> you think duct tape is gonna stop the grunge? When you piss off a vengeful spirit, it will stop at nothing to get its revenge. We should cancel the show while we still have our little fingies intact. And no, this is not about my dad. There's only 20 minutes left of the stream. Perhaps this is the last we've seen of this prankster? I really don't think so. Oh, <gasps> oh shit! That is messed up, Gwen. We gotta cancel this thing before it gets any worse. Ooh, die, you wankers, is the Grunch's catchphrase. That's just a prop. Flawless logic. I'm with Gwen on this one. <laughs> Greetings, wankers! Whoa. Relax, this guy's from England. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I'm from Milwaukee. This sumptuous accent is the result of many years training under the tutelage of the acting coach who worked at the same studio as the acting coach who trained a friend of Marlon Brandon. Besides, Orlando is being paid to be here. He has no motive. Precisely. I've read this script a thousand times. It's always the jealous wife or the jealous mistress or the jealous wife. <laughs> Never the famous actor. <laughs> If anyone's jealous of anything, it's obviously of my massive stack. This guy is trying to scare everyone and is trying to sabotage me by pretending to be the grunge. But they made one massive mistake. They fucked with me on Christmas. Who wants another bump of Swiss, man? Okay. Just, just, okay. just when? Charity. <laughs> I think that we can solve this case and put on a fire performance of the grunge, right? Because the holidays are about getting everything you want. So, we're the solve it squad, right? <laughs> I have seen you do some amazing things yeah. back in high school, uh, but I don't think anything short of a miracle is going to save this live stream. I can do you one better. How about a Hail Mary? What? Mm. Where am I? Just stand over here. What? No, this is Keith, I don't think no, there's time for no, 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 no. Stand right here. <laughs> it's Carol 
singers. <laughs> with any luck, by next year, I'll be going out with Gwen. You didn't need a picture. I know which Gwen. <laughs> Just because it's Christmas and other holidays, too, but it's the main one. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Double parentheses. And I've been reading your signs all night. Sly face emoji. But let me say without hope or agenda, I wanted to ask. <laughs> Let's have a threesome with me and Gwen. <laughs> Keith. Yes. I'm good. It's not a no. Put these away. Okay. Take this. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's really fair. Let's clean up. Miss Gwen, please, we have to decide what you're going to say. We're almost back. Charity. We are going to pull off this production of The Grunch without a hitch, and no one is going to remember any little stumbles along the way. I just think we should quit while we're ahead. And I see, I mean that relatively speaking, because a man did die here tonight. <laughs> Look, I'm not making this decision for myself. I'm making it for the community. That's right. This whole evening has been about the community coming together not for themselves, but for the needy. And if there's one thing that I learned from my time in Hollywood, it's that the best way to get people to help others is to convince them they're helping themselves. Go live! Are we all in this? Yes. yes. Oh. And there comes a time in everybody's life when you need a hero and a miracle. I know you're scared. Baby, I'm scared too. It's very scary. But we need to find toys. And bidets. For all the kids in Mayberry. When it's boom or bust in greed, we trust. The money's a must, cause the needy need us. We'll get the crunch and win the fight. No matter how many people gotta die tonight. Greedy for the needy. Why did you do make it speedy? Oh, yes, indeed. We'll throw in a DVD. We can save the world this Christmas time by giving it all away. Even if it's more than you can pay, it's a tax write off. This one sick child is not enough. We need more. Is there a doctor in the house? Why, yes, let me fill you out a script. Dr. Sachs! From an offshore account that's filled to the brim with pharmaceutical kickbacks. Hooray! It's Judgment Day. Judge Dredd! And my decision is in. He looks pissed! I'm ruling in favor of the Mayberry children. Yay! Case dismissed. Whether Jew Father, Papa. or Christian, I will say and do all that I can. I'm getting beclamped. Brother, that'll do you. We're tax exempt. Hallelujah. The entire community is coming to help. We're teachers and students, bartenders, engineers. We're cattlemen and ranchers and jolly musketeers. I run a webcam, I'm out of work. I do graphic design. I'm an IT, I'm a nurse practitioner. I just hold a sign. That's a mighty fine sign. I design that sign. Would you mind signing my sign? Sure. It must be a sign. A sign from God to the solid squad with greed, you're free! Praises be to the A word, to the J word and the G word. Together when we harness greed, we can say the C word. What? No, children. Oh, Santa! Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho! Get free!
mystery so I can get back to sitting on my little ass, sipping my nog, and getting declared the winner of this competition? Hands in! Still not a competition. Yeah. <laughs> what? Greg, stop moping and join the hand sandwich. I'm not. You are, bro. <laughs> it's just my dad. He's is... incoming. I guess it's possible that He's he... a dick and you're harshing everyone's mellow. So now it's time. <laughs> To get over this whole sad boy routine. And? Father myself. Starting by? Putting my hand on top of yours. Because? We're the Solvent Squad, and the Solvent Squad always shows up. Yeah, yeah. that's the spirit, Ooh. Daddy. Peer pressure works. <laughs> yeah. And being my own dad means showing up for the people you care about, even if you're still deathly afraid of the grunge. So, if we are going to catch this crook... And put on the spectacular performance of the Grunch that I know in my heart's we can do. We need to put together a plan and fast. So, who are our top suspects? Charity. She's my number one. It's why I've been following her around all night. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. She's running this whole thing. Unless you've discovered a motive. Yes, I have. It eludes me at the moment. <laughs> He's just mad she wouldn't have a menage a trois with him. Well... A threesome with her and who else? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Scraggs, you are number one. Well, uh, my top suspect is Orlando. Because the guy, I mean, he's a loose cannon. He is harboring a lot of resentment towards this gig. He has no respect for anyone. And on top of that, I think he's drunk. Scraggs, he's an actor. Of course he's drunk. <laughs> my number one is... Lisa Hoffman, that hag has been slinking around all night trying to show she's such a better wife and mother than me. Um, bitch, I'm doing this for my family. Have you ever thought that it was maybe Maddie? Oh. <laughs> Why? She's been in that seat the entire night. Exactly. These are all ludicrous suggestions. God. Solving this mystery is really killing my buzz, you guys. Like, I thought I made this so clear. When it comes to holiday mysteries, treat me as if I'm Kim Cattrall in the Sex and the City reboot. <laughs> Not interested in participating. Okay, oh, Esther, oh, this oh, is the part where we city. use your brain. All right, so all right, just... fine, fine, fine. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, maybe it was Lisa because she's, like, jealous of Gwen or whatever. Or maybe it was Orlando because he's, like, mad that he's washed up and not getting paid more. Yes. Or, yeah, maybe it was Charity for fucking, like, I don't know, insurance fraud. Just remember why Charity was my number one suspect for intention to commit, I don't know, fucking insurance fraud or something. Okay, <laughs> all right. Can we just get this over with the one way we know how? It always works. Say it with me. Set, Set thoughts and prayers. prayers. Thoughts and what? prayers? That works. <laughs> But their Christmas was threatened year after year by this thing that stole presents. 